Jesus is really gonna have to take the wheel on this project. Because I'm so Delulu. Better be good. The most exciting statement I have ever made on a design project. You like my little pose right now? Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It is 2024, it is January, it is the Monday of months. I feel like this month has been both 100 years and three seconds at the same time. And as you can tell, there's a lot going on over here. There's a lot of multitasking happening, but most importantly, in case you missed it, we moved. After four years of doing homes for other people, Honestly, I feel like I should have said, and that's what you missed last time on Glee. And that's what you missed on Glee. And I don't know, you're probably wondering where in the world I am. Honestly, maybe you're not, but did I mention where we're currently living? We moved in with my parents. <laughs> there it is. It's a nose flute. Yes, we are living that back home baller lifestyle. Back home. I want something, I just holla. Honestly, real talk, I am so grateful for a few things. A, that I love my family and like them and that we all get along enough to where my parents were like, of course, come stay at our house. And we have the best situation ever here. They have like a little casita. I'm gonna give you guys a tour maybe in my next video, but we have our own little kitchen, our own bed, obviously, our own bedroom. So this is like peak level back home baller situation. Just to backtrack a little bit, we moved very suddenly. We were able to rent out our last condo. We didn't end up selling it. We were able to rent it out very last minute to a wonderful woman. We're so excited that she's living in our place. We were able to rent it out furnished. And as of today, the very minute that I'm filming this video, we are exactly four weeks out of our place and into our renovation. We moved out of our place on December 23rd, which was also the same day that our new home officially closed escrow. It was the day that we officially became owners of our new home. So we had to move over the course of 36 hours tops. So it was probably a lot less. And by the end of the day on December 24th, AKA Christmas Eve, the new place was completely demoed. We have the most amazing crew in Los Angeles. Shout out to Steven and all of his amazing team. They wanted to work on Christmas Eve, which I personally was like, are you sure? But I major, major respect for it. By the end of December 24th, everything was demoed. We're talking no more kitchen, no more bathrooms, no more carpet, goodbye old house. And demo day, I mean, you guys know, I'm like, am I doing a beauty video? Demo day is always so wild to me, even though we do this all the time, because it's really after that that you can begin to see the home as totally a clean slate. It's when your vision can really start to come to life because you start imagining things that are a little hard to picture when all the other stuff is in there. So anywho, the next day was Christmas day. We were here back home balling. My entire family was here. And when we were done like opening presents and doing the whole Christmas thing, we were like, let's just like hop in the car in our jammies and go show them our new place. So that's what we did. It is Christmas day. Christmas day. We're taking the whole family to see the new place just right after opening presents, because why not? And also since the last time we were here, apparently everything's been demolished. So let's go check it out. Here we go. Matt, this outfit, I mean, Christmas. Oh, <laughs> my back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, this is kind of crazy. Mom, what do you think? Dad, what do you think, Dad? Good, I'm checking out this fireplace. Chat, thoughts? He likes it. Gnomes and Sam, what do you guys think? Things started moving really, really quickly. And I think that's because Chris and I are actually pretty decisive 
and because we do these kind of projects all the time we already have in mind what we do and don't want especially when it comes to our own home because we've been doing these projects now for four years and we're always like oh this is what we're gonna do in this person's house but like man our house I'd really love to do X Y and Z unfortunately <laughs> as it turns out your girl has very expensive taste so some of the stuff I've wanted I haven't been able to do which is totally fine because there are so many great affordable options out there but I'm also the kind of person who will not commit to like flooring or tile or materials or paint or anything until I see them in person <laughs> which has just been a freaking journey so quickly just to give you guys an idea of our plans we took out the kitchen and both bathrooms we're gonna be salvaging the wood floors all throughout the house but staining them a lighter color, kind of to give them the look of white oak. We're also hopefully installing a more modern white oak kitchen, TBD. Hopefully this happens. We're also adding a shower in the downstairs bathroom. It used to just be a sink and a toilet. We're doing new paint and lighting all throughout the house. And then upstairs in the bedrooms where there was carpet, we're doing a new luxury vinyl to match the wood floors that we have throughout the rest of the house. So honestly, yes. We are doing a lot, but this place was already in great shape. It just needed a little updating because it was built in the 60s and had not really been updated since then. And we also wanna maintain as many of the mid-century like architecture details as possible. So like the staircase, the fireplace, those definitely are not going anywhere. We have owned this house for eight days and in the last eight days, which by the way has also included Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, it's totally demolished. <laughs> Everything is gone and listen, mistakes happen. We've already had not just one, not just two, but three major mistakes and listen, it's okay. We're understanding. But you know what? Jesus is really gonna have to take the wheel on this project because um, patience is, it's wearing thin. And it's different because it's our personal house this time. So we're a little bit more emotional about it. There is a level of this where I'm just like, not really willing to budge on some stuff. All okay, right. let's go check it out. We're gonna take you guys inside. Let there be light. Oh my gosh. And on the seventh day, God said, let there be light. Yeah, we literally had no idea they were gonna be able to do these lights, but here they are. <laughs> They're done. It looks good. New floors. Also, this is gonna be a DIY project that we'll do with my dad because he's really good at brick and stone. So all of this brick here will just be repaired and then we'll continue it down here on the ground and that'll all be painted white. And then eventually this fireplace, the face here will be covered in stone, which I think will be really cool with the black box for contrast. It's been really hard because everything we like is out of stock. Babe, what did we do? What did we do? What did we do? We lay stuff on the ground to visualize it, <laughs> bring it into reality. We came to Floor and Decor at 7 a.m. and we picked our flooring and guess what? It is a literal end of your miracle. It is 99 cents a square foot. <laughs> everything else I was looking at was 20 times the price, so this is pretty amazing. Another exciting day! We drove out to Ontario, which is where is Ontario? I don't know, but it better be good, these vanities. <laughs> yeah, we're here to pick out our bathroom vanities. Our contractor sent us out here, so very excited, very, very excited, very nervous. I like this one. I really like the curved edges a lot. I think that's cool. There's a lot in here. Also really like how when you open the vanity, it connects to electricity and USB. So for like hair tools or any like facial care tools, you can charge them right here. Is this hole right here? That's to put your blow dryer in. That's so amazing. It is officially day 14 on maybe the fastest renovation project of all time. Our contractor told us this is expected to be done in two weeks. We'll see if that actually happens. So a lot of this, because we are moving so quickly, is being done by the real hardcore professionals. But there are a few more DIY style projects that we wanted to do ourselves, including the one that we're doing today, which as you can see, Phil is here. I really wanted to put one of those like cool arched niches, AKA like an arched built-in shelf in the bathroom between the shower and the toilet. It's gonna be pretty narrow if we can get away with it. And we actually went on Instagram and found this account where this company literally just sells arch kits 
of quite literally any kind, any size, any style you could ever think of. So we ordered one, not sure if it's gonna work, but if it does, I think it's just gonna be a really cool little added decorative element. Hoping and praying nothing important is behind the drywall because if there is, then this is probably not gonna work out. This right here, between the shower and where the toilet starts, this narrow area is where I want to try to do the niche and I'll probably start like at waist height so right here and then we're thinking of actually using the tile that we're going to put on the floor obviously not this putting that inside the niche with like some white oak shelving that will match the vanity that will eventually be going over here what's happening I'm trying to figure out what's behind here see if we can put a niche in here or not or if there's too much plumbing back there just keep in mind, I don't want the niche to really go past the toilet. So like this big? From there, and then it can come as far over this way. What, is, what do you, we were you trying to avoid, right we were trying to avoid reframing, but if we can't, we can't, we'll see. We might as well see what's back here. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, really quick, show me what came with this kit thing. It's like this. So what's the other option you were saying? It's having the top like this, arch, but then it goes flat on the sides. Yeah, that's fine. They also even do <laughs> hood fence which is neat. I mean, they do, like, you could actually like build a bell tower in your house probably using one of their arch kits. Okay, we're checking out the arch. What did you say? It's gonna be a little past the toilet, which you didn't want, but okay. that's, that's rough drawing. So we can't go too much lower because there's a pipe. What about higher? You can go, probably can go higher. Not all the way to the, the top. Whole thing in each, all this. Like this. We cut the wrong piece. We needed the top half, not the bottom half of the earth. At the new place, we're going inside to check on the green tile. The most exciting statement I have ever made on a design project in the history of my design career. This green tile? This green tile. What? I've never done anything like what this. What about the cabinet choice you made? I mean, that's pretty stunning as well. I hope it is at least. I'm so excited. Let's go. Let's go inside. <gasps> oh my god! Yeah. Ah, it looks so good! Oh! Goodness. Oh, I'm happy. Happy wife, happy life. Happy, happy wife, happy life. Tell me about this niche you built. <laughs> Phil and I, not just me. Okay, yes. So I tried to build a little arch for my, my babe to put her candles in. Wow, it looks good. And the floors. The floors look rich. Oh my gosh, we had nothing to do with the floors or the shower because it looks perfect. Okay, so we just drove out to El Monte, which is a suburb of LA to a place called Prefab Slab to pick out hopefully our kitchen counters. This place is huge. Okay, so this is like really a huge decision and it's hard, but it's not hard because we kind of already know what we want. We are doing a white oak kitchen in terms of the cabinets and I want the backsplash to not just be like white. I definitely want it to integrate in some of those like organic wood colors, but also something a little darker and bolder, like maybe a little black. Oh, it's hard. What's our final decision? I think we're going with Frank Sumatra. He's got jokes, people. What, which one is it? Another big day. Honestly, I feel like I say that every single day. And I think when you're doing a renovation this quickly, honestly, every day is a big day. So we just drove down to Orange County. We mentioned in the first video when we announced the renovation and that we were moving and everything that we were gonna bring our Murphy bed to the new place. But as it turns out, my parents actually want to keep it. So they are going to be replacing ours. So we are here at Wall Beds and More. Wall Beds and More to see if they have one that we like. There it is. It's like really, really hard to pick. So this one opens horizontally. That's so cool. So the bed opens and like sideways. This is the top and that's the bottom, which is super cool. I don't want to do that because I don't want to take up that much wall space. Like I like this look best but in a different wood like here's the wood options over here like what if we did like this in like this color be awesome another big day another big decision another big day i honestly feel like we're starting to hit a place of decision paralysis like where you have to make so many choices it's you're just analysis like analysis paralysis okay well i have that too anyways right now we're pulling up to the stone yard that one of our friends who's an amazing interior designer recommended we come to to meet with her like stone guy or brick guy 
Oh, and we didn't even mention, we're here to pick out potential stone for our fireplace. Reporting live with Jeremy from LAOC Brick on Instagram. <laughs> We're trying to pick out a material for the fireplace and I've been really wanting stone, which we already like walked through. But I'm kind of leaning more towards, well Chris is too, leaning more towards something like this. Like how would you describe this? That would go more like a Frank Lloyd Wright mid-century long format brick. Play with the mortar or make yeah. the coffin your design. This place is kind of like magical heaven on earth. Brick yeah, it's like Masonry Disneyland. <laughs> yeah. Today is yet another big day. By the way, every time I say big day, you should probably just take a shot. You, did you bring the tequila? <laughs> yeah, in your the purse? tequila. We're salvaging the floors because honestly, it would just break my heart if we had to take them out. We've been told that we're gonna be able to take off the current stain, which is kind of a little bit more yellow. But we wanna do something a little more neutral and light, more like a French oak color if any of you that rings the bell for you oh my gosh this looks so good so this is what it looks like unstained oh my gosh it looks so good and then these are the three color choices And then as I mentioned, we did not sell our last place, which like cannot believe we were even able to hold on to it. I'm so, so grateful because I feel like so emotionally connected to that place. If we had to sell it, I would be completely hysterical. It's like the first place I ever bought on my own. It's just, I feel very attached. Anyways, we were able to rent it out furnished, which means we have no furniture at all anymore like we basically have nothing we left almost everything at the other place we might get it out eventually but for now when we move into our new place we have i don't even know if we have a folding chair so i lucked out this furniture company called Ernest reached out to me i'm gonna link to them in the info section below and asked if i would like one of their pieces and because i'm so delulu like your girl needs all sorts of stuff she needs a couch she needs a dining table i was like you know what would be the best thing to get coffee station because we all know the one thing you need in a home is a place for a bevy am i right inside this box is this huge stunning mid-century wine storage situation but i think i'm gonna turn it into a coffee bar wait for it in our bedroom at least that's my plan but first i have to put it together and it's actually really really heavy so We'll see what happens. Already exhausted just from opening the box, but I figured this is probably a good workout. This is what it's gonna look like when it's done. I'm so excited. Almost done. I am very excited about how this is turning out. How do you feel? You like it? You like my little pose right now? You're so limber. The wine cabinet is finished. The wine or the coffee cabinet still cannot decide. But y'all, you can see I got like dressed up to reveal this to you because it is so cool. Okay, I haven't staged it yet. I haven't done coffee. I haven't done cocktails. I'm actually gonna do both and then like let you guys decide which one you like better. But first, can we just get a look at this? I mean, 71 inches tall. Down here, this is all the storage for wine glasses. And then down in this compartment, you can store tons of bottles of liquor, wine, whatever other accessories you might have. And then up here, I just think that this glass cabinet area with these brass handles, perfect for like your pretty glassware. Speaking of which, I'm gonna stage this first as a bar and let y'all decide which one you like best.
open up these top glass cabinets and I have these really beautiful glasses. These are actually from Target. These are plastic. And then the little lemoncello glasses. We have a candle that you could pull out when you're throwing a party here on the bar top area. More glasses inside, some carafes for wine. I did this little plant just because green is one of my favorite accent colors. I have a few little hand towels down here, the bar set, and then wait for it when you open this. So much storage. I put my Moscow Mule cups inside. So obviously that is right here. This is what it looks like staged as what it's meant to be, which is a wine storage cabinet. But because I'm really dead set on having my first piece of furniture in the new place be a coffee station in my bedroom, I'm also gonna stage it as that. And then you guys let me know which one you like better. Okay, and here's the coffee version, which I'm not gonna lie, I love the wine cabinet, but this just, it kind of has my whole heart. I put my Lord Barista right here. It fits totally perfectly. And then I also have space for my coffee pods or my fresh coffee. This can hold tea, this can hold sweetener. And then, oh my goodness, just look at how cute this is. Up top, we have glasses for water. These are from Target. I just picked these up. I think they are just so cute. I just feel like having this right next to your bed in your brand new house. I think this is what I need in my life. Honestly, could not be more obsessed with that wine cabinet slash maybe coffee station. I don't even care if I have to sleep on the floor. As long as I have that like right next to myself, I will have peaked. The end. But we still have so many other things to figure out with this new house. Like what are we doing with the fireplace? Are we going to do the stone? Are we going to do the brick? What are we leaning into? What are we committing to? Because that is such a huge focal point in general for the house. Also zero idea what we're doing in the main bedroom. And it's definitely a clean slate because we have nothing. So I'm kind of excited. In the least shocking news of all time, my camera also just died. That's just like where we're at right now. In case you can't tell, this is how the sausage is made and it's not pretty, <laughs> okay? So I don't know what we're gonna do in the main bedroom. If any of you guys have great ideas for statement walls, hit your girl up. I'm on Pinterest. That's where I am getting all of my inspiration. I'm gonna link to my page below. So join the party over there. And honestly, I'm really hoping that in the next video, I'll be able to reveal at least one space, maybe the kitchen, but honestly, more likely one of the bathrooms. And in the meantime, like, just y'all pray for us because I'm um, doing a home reno is like not for the, the week. Not at all. <laughs> Honestly, if you can make it through something like this, kids, you can go anywhere. And with that, y'all, I love you so much. Thank you so much for following this journey. I'll see you next time that we bring you to Spanish Olive Gardens.